What's up, guys? So today, oh, focus, damn it. Today we're changing rear diff fluid, T case fluid, oil, and front struts. Um, tomorrow evening we leave for Moab for the weekend, and today's Thanksgiving also. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone. But yeah, I already got the back of the truck draining. It's pretty much done draining. But yeah, it's a 24 mil. If you're going to change your rear diff fluid, always make sure you can uh, get the fill plug undone first. You don't want to undo the drain plug and then drain all your fluid and can't get your fill plug undone. You'll be having a real bad day. So yeah, that's about all we got going on today. And then uh, walk over here to Tom's truck. Got a drone case mounted on his Yoda. Got an organizer, put it on the top. No, no, no. Right now he's not on the slide for his uh, ice coat. Yeah, that's all we got going. Okay, so I got the rear diff done already and uh, doing the transfer case now. So this is your uh, fill plug, this is your drain plug. They're a 24 mil, I already cracked them loose. And on the second gen Tacomas at least, it's only 1.1 quarts of gear oil. And I'm using Valvoline 7590. Please don't go everywhere. That's clearer than I thought it was gonna be. So the truck has like 245,000 miles on it, and I've never changed the transfer case oil. But yeah, that's about it. And then, uh, until I get it filled up, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. That's really about it, and I'm not gonna have you guys watch oil drain till then. So the only downside with these fucking plastic bags is the caps tend to leak. Which is slightly annoying. It's whatever. Also, working on your car in an apartment complex sucks too. Especially when it's cold. It's like in the 30s right now. But it needs to be done. Dope. She's super full. All right. So, I'm gonna get that tightened up. Do the oil change. Oil changes. I'm not gonna record that. Um, and then we're gonna pull the front struts, change out the struts with some Old Man Emu 90,000 Sports, switch my coils over, and yeah, we'll be done for the day. Alright, we got all the fluids changed, and um, changed one of the coils on the new struts already. Got it all buttoned back up. Um, went with some Old Man Emu. Uh, 90,000 sports. So that's the setup right now. Waiting on some 886 coils to come in. Got 883s on there right now with uh, JBA upper control arms. So yeah, I'm gonna get a button back up, put the wheel back on, and then start on the other side, and uh, I'll record that process. Until then. Alright, so I have 
the wheel off on the passenger side, working on getting the lower shock mount bolt loose. I got the top hat bolts loose and the tie rod off. Just swung out of the way, but yeah. So, yeah, switch out the bill stains. But yeah. And then I'll just kind of have you get this chill. Thank you, sir. Give it hell. got the spring compressors put on it so uh, we're gonna tighten those down compress the spring take off the top hat and switch everything over to the new strut um, when you use these spring compressors be careful they are sketchy as all hell um, okay so we're gonna break the top hat center bolt loose with an impact and then do it by by hand. Okay, so you'll want a five mil wrench. There's a little slot on the top of the strut. I don't have one, so crescent wrench it is. Then 19 mil for the lock nut. Alright, so we got that off. We're going to put the new coils on, the new shocks. slap in the new strut and button it up and go the fuck inside. So. How's it going? Good, yeah. Uh, cold. Yeah, I bet. I wish. Yeah.
Alright, we're going to slap on the tie rod, tighten it down, throw the wheel on, clean up, and go inside. And drink some beer. So, I forgot to film an outro last night, but, uh, yeah. Got everything all done, took it for a test drive. Runs, or drives so much better. Um, remember, like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, later, y'all.